29 years of missions program. We've been through a couple of nights and it's exciting to be part of Missions Conference again 2021. You know, we've heard a lot about where we've been. I'm very excited about the future. Are you guys excited for the next 30 years? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Are you excited about where we're going? It's, I mean, amazing everything that's been accomplished and I can only imagine what God is going to do in the future. What would excite you the most about our Go Missions program? Probably the most exciting thing is that we are just so well-rounded that we go into the neighborhood and we go into the nations. So we can send people halfway around the globe to do work in third world countries, but at the same time, we can just open up our back door and help out those that are right in our neighborhood that need help. So Brittany, what excites you about our Go Missions program? The main thing that excites me about the Go Missions program is that we help here and there. So in 30 years from now, you're gonna look back you'll be as old as, as I am now. Lord help us. What will the, what's your vision for the next 30 years when you get there? My vision for the next 30 years is to see God's fulfillment come through, um, through our youth and through our young adult ministry and, and abroad and a missions work. Yep. So what excites you the most about our Go Missions program? Um, just that we are reaching outside of our church walls to impact the world with the love of Jesus and the message of hope for them. As the mission program continues to evolve and grow and change, which it has definitely done over the last 29 years, it's obvious that it will not be the same in 30 years as it is now, and you and I may not even be here anymore. But what do you think the vision for the next 30 years would be like for the Go Missions program? Wow, next 30 years. Um... You know, a lot of it is, is, is the same as it ever was. You know, the Bible is never changing. The Bible says go into all the world. Um, that's pretty right to the point, you know, go into all the world. And so it starts with a go. And I always tell students and people, you know, they have to pray to get a no, to not to go. Otherwise, he said to go. So, um, you know, you, you need to go. And so there should be nothing that uh, inhibits you from going. Uh, a lot of times people will talk about they don't have the money. And I have just seen over the years so many times when people don't have the money, if they have a desire and they make an effort and they want to go, they've already been mandated to go. And we, I can't ever remember leaving anybody behind that, uh, that had a desire. God's always made a way for them. What right, that was him. It's either one. We didn't ask that one before. We're changing it. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm changing it. Oh, <laughs> oh, keeps calling me. If you had, could have a vision for the next 30 years, what would it be? To raise up future missionaries. Just to expand and continue the growth that's already, the ground that's already been laid. Just build on top of that. What would be your best encouraging pitch to get someone to go on the mission field? Everybody needs to experience it. If, if you haven't been, especially with third world, um, if you haven't been someplace that is so different than here, it's hard to appreciate what we have here without seeing how other people are, uh, are, are living around the world. And uh, there's just so many needs everywhere. And uh, when you go way far away and come back, you're always extremely thankful for what we have here. If you're not able to go uh, overseas, then there's plenty that we can do right here in our own backyard, um, from, from working with the food bank to just working with the communities, working with the homeless. Um, but everybody needs to do something. If they can't physically do any of that, then they need to give. They should give anyway. Um, if they can't do either of those things, then they need to pray or do all three. Three, four, three, two, one, one, two.